Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Thanks to Rohit Gokshi, who asked how to export to a movie theater from Adobe Premiere Pro. If you've ever wondered how to get your stuff out of Adobe Premiere Pro in Media Encoder and get it to a format that can play in a theater, you're lucky because Premiere Pro has the Raptor DCP digital cinema package software built in. It's 2K for free, 4K, I'll show you the, the Raptor website and you can upgrade to that, but you have that ability. What's important to understand is that the Raptor DCP is created by Cuvez and they were the original developer of Wavelet technology that was used in theatrical distribution uh, at the beginning, all the way down to uh, Toy Story 2. So it's their technology that does the compression. There's not a lot of choices in the export menu going out, but what's important is that it's going to, it will, if, now if I was doing 2K, I would do my, my, Timeline is 2K, my assets is 2K uh, or 4K and then and then get the 4K. But if you have HD, it will up res this to 2K for you. And it has its own specific algorithm to do that. It does take uh, a bit of computing. It will take care of the aspect ratio. The color calibration is based on the BT709 workflow, which gives great color for theatrical distribution. It sets the correct frame rate, so even if you don't have the correct frame rate, it will uh, convert it for you either to 24 or 25 frames per second. But in in uh, Premiere Pro, it's it's just as easy for you to to have a sequence based on that. Uh, the audio sampling is is going to support stereo or 5.1. I'll show you more points again about the 4K version and 7.1. It's going to take care of resolution and audio assignment. Let's go have a look. All right, I've got a uh, just a regular timeline here with a lot of assets in here from Waiting for Lightning. And what I want to do is uh, export this out using the Raptor DCP package. In the file menu, just like you'd export anything, you go to Media or Control-M, or you could be doing this through Media Encoder. And on the top right hand corner, if you go to the formats down at the bottom, Raptor DCP, and you'll see two choices, 25 frames per second, which is basically PAL, and 24 frames per second, which is um, very common for cinemas. So if, if you come down here to the bottom uh, in the video settings, you'll see uh, three choices in here. We can go to flat, scope, or full. And each one of those has its own sp specific resolution. You can see that both the full and the scope are 2048 by 1080 or 2048 by 858, where it's going to chop that down. And, and these are the formats. This is part of the aspect ratio that's correct to make a digital cinema package. You can't just make up some number in your head or even use a camera format that that you happen to have. It has to be one of these specific formats to make it out to be to be a valid digital cinema package. So we're gonna go to the scope setting here and this is where we can set either 25 or 24 frames per second. Progressive and square pixels and the bit rate is 250. In the audio section, I don't happen to have 5.1, but if I did, I could uh, click on here and, and choose that. The sample size is 24-bit, 48K, uncompressed. You want to stay away from anything in the effects. The effects are not appropriate to, to use for this, and uh, neither are captions. That's why you'll see them grayed out, but video and audio settings. Uh, those are the big ones right there. If you go to the, the uh, Cuvis website, that's where you'll see more information about the additional tools. So in the products and services, you'll see Raptor for Media Encoder and a bunch of information here. And it tells you exactly what's going on with all of this. And at the bottom, you can buy or rent. So uh, depending on, on you know how you're going to do this, if you're going to go out to um, a digital cinema package once, then you can... Um, just rent it um, so you can buy the full version you can there's a 30-day rental 
uh, so you can get it out real quick. That's a reasonable price and you click on rent. So let's go look at that, um, that table and, and see exactly what is and isn't supported between the 2K version that comes built in and the 4K version, which is an extra cost. So Raptor Lite is the 2K version that comes with Premiere Pro and you can see 2K support in both Raptor Lite and Pro, 4K support only in, in the Pro version. As far as audio, 48K is supported in both, 96 kilohertz is only supported in the Pro version. Both do stereo 5.1 if you want 7.1, then that's the Pro version. Down on the frame rates, out of the box 24, 25. The Pro version now supports 30, 48, 50, and 60. Um, as we've seen that you know some films are actually working on higher frame rates. There you can the data limit for light is 250 megabits per second, and it's completely adjustable adjustable in the pro version. Um, threading support, basic and advanced. Threading simply means how is this best going to use the computing power of your system, whether it's got full thread support, advanced thread support, because this is going to take some computing power to make these files. Um, the quality priority encoding is studio standard or selectable in the pro version. And there's advanced uh, compression and naming tools coming soon. And down at the bottom, uh, HD and UHD support, all that is only in the pro version. So pretty basic, the light version 2K Adobe gives you that for free to go out and you can create a true real theatrical DCP. Now you're gonna have to have a DCP player of some sort. So don't think you're gonna be making that and sticking that on, on the web um, or even playing it on a lot of consumer devices. You've gotta have something that does support that digital cinema package. All right, right out of the box. There you go, there's your support for digital cinema packages. So uh, hopefully, Rohit, that's what you wanted. And um, if you're new to Video Revealed and uh, you haven't yet, subscribe, take a moment and subscribe. And if you wanna support us a little bit further, join us over on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you looking your best.